Hi friends! Today we are going to create a Pierre Mondrian inspired artwork. Pierre Mondrian was a Dutch painter who created abstract artworks. An abstract artwork usually has items that we wouldn't typically recognize. Abstract painters are more likely to use things like line, shape, and color to create their work. So let's take a look at some of his artworks. P.A. Mondrian often called his artworks compositions. Now typically a composition is the arrangement of the objects or the subjects in a painting. Now in his case, this will be the arrangement of line, shape, and color. So besides the white background and the black lines, you may notice that he uses three special colors in his paintings. So we learned about these in school and they are called the primary colors. We have red, yellow, and blue. Assuming that you have a white sheet of paper to work on, I've taken these four colors from my crayon box. My primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and I've taken black as well so we can create our lines and the outline of the shape that we'll be creating. And if you don't want to use crayons, you can also use markers, paint, whatever type of art material that you have. So P.A. Mondrian will work on a canvas that's usually rectangular or square, but I thought it would be fun for us to choose our own shape to make our artwork inside of. So I'm going to go with the heart. That's simple enough. I wouldn't choose something that's so complex. I'm gonna go over that again so that it's nice and dark. Now I'm going to start adding my straight lines. It's rumored that P.A. Mondrian did not use a ruler, so I'm just going to go for it like he did. And you can decide where you want to add them. So I'll add one here, and I'll go over it again so that it's nice and dark. And again, this is just completely random. I'm choosing where I want to put my lines. So now I'm going to go back to my primary colors and I'm going to start with red. Now I'm just going to shade in a couple red boxes because I do want to leave some for the blue. I want to leave some for the yellow and I want to have some boxes stay white. So let's see, I'll start with this one right here. And I'm coloring in one direction. So I'm kind of going, creating diagonal lines, slowing down for you a bit here creating diagonal lines. When you color in one direction, it makes your artwork look a little bit more professional. And you can go over it again if you want it to be darker. I'm coloring in one direction. This time I'm going straight up and down. And that's entirely up to you how you want to fill in your boxes. I'm gonna pause with my red for now. I might come back and add more, but I do want to start using another color. Moving on to yellow. Another box here. And then I'll sign my name once I'm finished. I hope you had fun. Thanks for watching.